history is important. Okay, like the history on study. I have an example case here. It's a chest case. But uh, this was when I was a resident. Uh, a lot of these cases are from when I was a resident, and like I missed things. So maybe you can learn from my, from my uh, mistakes. Uh, so here's a chest x-ray. The history, this was like read during the day, I don't know, two in the afternoon or something. The history was clavicle pain. They read this out as normal. I mean, this chest x-ray looks pretty normal. I mean, there's nothing in the lungs, like nothing looking too bad. Clavicle looks pretty good. Uh, so they just read it as normal. Um, so they got some clavicle radiographs or shoulder radiographs. And uh, it was also read out as normal. Also by the staff, like during the day, it was read out with a resident or whatever. They like signed off. I guess like the ER was not, they were not deterred by a bunch of normal studies. They were pretty convinced that something was wrong with this guy. So they got a chest CT. And that's what I'm like reading. I'm like on call. It's like 6 p.m. I'm reading a chest CT. I see these prior radiographs. The history for this is chest pain. And uh, so I'm reading the study and I see that like his pec is like all edematous and there's like a hematoma there. There's like some soft tissue swelling. So I'm just like, ah, this is like nonspecific. Like maybe this guy fell down, like maybe whatever. Correlate with the <laughs> physical exam. Well, so what happened? Well, I'm going to change this. Like useful history is important. Uh, just like history, like going all over the place is maybe not that important. So this guy fell off of his bicycle has eight out of 10 pain and has an obvious deformity to his right clavicle. Well, that's, I mean, that, that's like a huge difference from saying like, oh, his shoulder hurts. Uh, and then if you go back and look at the CT, I mean, this is the CT that I read and it's, I mean, this is like on me for not seeing this, but look at the clavicle here. Like here's part of it and here's part of it. These are not even close to each other. I, I mean, look, it's like sticking out of the chest wall. Um, so the staff came in the next day, they like overread the study and they, they saw this. I mean. And this, this will get to like one of my other uh, kind of points later on. It's like when you see like a soft tissue finding like that, you should probably look more closely at the adjacent areas. But you're on call. It's like you're in a hurry, like a bunch of, bunch of things are, a bunch of phone, uh, phones are ringing and whatever. You see the clavicle is like obviously broken. Uh, you can go back and you can see it in retrospect on the radiographs. There's like a, there's like a little divot here. But there's so much overlying stuff. The third rib is there. And it's displaced almost perfectly anteriorly, so it looks kind of like it's in about the right position. Uh, so the staff missed that. So I mean, that's that's a kind of on them as well. But how did this happen, right? The, the, the history is all over the place here: shoulder pain, clavicle pain, chest pain. The real pain is a bicycle accident with an obvious clavicle deformity. Um, I think it would have been hard to miss. Like if I knew there was an obvious clavicle deformity, I would have stared at that clavicle until I found what was going on. I'm just like reading another study, like this is a chest study, like a PE or whatever. And, uh, you know, I made a mistake. And like having the right history, like would have really helped me there. Most ridiculous part of this is like the ER called, talked to another resident who wasn't reading the study and said they're concerned about sternoclavicular dissociation, which is like sort of a dislocation of the medial clavicle there. And, uh, but this didn't get conveyed to me. So that's, that's fine. But uh, when you're reading a study like this and it's like one after the other, uh, what's bad is they sent the patient home. And uh, in this regard, I, I kind of, I have mixed feelings, right? Because for the ER, I feel like they kind of got what they deserve. Uh, but for the patient, I feel terrible because this guy's like sitting in the ER and he's like, dog, I don't know. It's like deformed, but like it feels terrible. And they're like, nope, you're fine. <laughs> Take some oxycodone and go home. And of course, you know, the staff found it and he came back and everything was like, okay. Um, here's another example also from my residency. This was one of the first calls I ever had. I get this hand radiograph. The history is arm pain. Well, first of all, this is like not the arm. If your arm is hurting, you should not be taking a radiograph of the hand. You should be looking elsewhere. Um, you, can't, uh, you can't even see on this. So I, I kind of blew it up. But uh, you have this and like kind of looking at this. I just called this normal. Um, if you look a little closer at the base of the fifth metatarsal here, there's like a little, little triangle little fragment, like the cortex is not quite, not quite right there. Uh, there's a little, little triangle. That's a fracture. Um, so I called the study normal and uh, there was no note at that time, but the actual history for this patient was he was transferred to our hospital for management of a fifth metacarpal fracture. I mean, this is like totally idiotic. Uh, so they got the radiograph and like, again, like the idiocy like continues. They sent this guy home. They're like, no, nope, you're good. 
They're like, oh, the, you know, the, the PGY-3 radiology resident like says it's cool. Um, again, like, I mean, the history, and there was no note at this time. Like, I only found this note after, I mean, the staff saw the fracture, and then I looked back at it, and there was a note at that time. So the retrospective history, like, makes it even worse. I think it's a little better here because the ER notes are usually pended. So you see that they're there and they're incomplete. We didn't have that. So I think they could like pen their notes for a while and you couldn't even see them. So a lot of times like you didn't, you didn't have any history at all. It's bad news. Um, so just anticipate that the history might be wrong. Anticipate that it might be incomplete. It might even be actively misleading. Like when someone is transferred for a fifth metacarpal fracture and the history is arm pain, that's, that's totally ridiculous. Um, but what do you do about that? I mean, you're not going to be able to like cure the ER of their maladies. Um, you have to spend some time like looking in, in Epic and like find out what the history is. And if you don't know, if it's confusing, then because that it, I could have on that chest, I could have really solved a lot if I picked up the phone and said like, why are you guys like ordering studies from all over the place? I mean, why does he have a chest x-ray and a shoulder and all of this stuff, all with different histories? And they would have told me like, well, he fell off his bike and his clavicle is deformed. And that would have that would have saved a lot of trouble and would have like been better for that patient. <laughs>